Hey friends, welcome back to BMS Beauty. If you're new here, hey, I'm Brittany and I love all things skincare. Uh, just a quick reminder, please hit the subscribe button down below uh, so you can continue to join me for all of our sunscreen Sunday videos. Uh, today we will be trying out this bad boy right here, the CeraVe Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30 Sheer Tint. As always, we will quickly discuss some key ingredients and do a demo, so stay tuned. <laughs> It's sunscreen Sunday, y'all. Uh, so let's take a look at this sunscreen here um, and see what CeraVe has to say about this. Got some notes. Um, they say protect your skin while getting a healthy glow without any white cast. Uh, Non-greasy and suitable for sensitive skin. Our mineral sunscreen with the tint seamlessly blends into all skin tones okay then hopefully that's true so as far as ingredients go like all CeraVe products this does contain ceramides uh, which are good to help and restore our skin barrier and kind of lock that moisture in on our face uh, this also contains niacinamide, which is helpful in brightening and soothing the skin, and some hyaluronic acid to add some hydration. The active ingredients that actually make this a sunscreen are titanium dioxide, and that's at a 5.5%, and zinc oxide at a 10%. So this is a 100% mineral sunscreen, and it's also fragrance-free. Uh, so let's apply this and see how it looks and feels. Hopefully the lighting in here is okay. The lighting keeps changing a little bit. So, oh, I should probably shake it up. Okay. And then, like I've discussed before, I do usually do the two finger method. That's enough for my face, my ears, and my neck. And then I usually go down a little bit on my chest too. I, I'm just wearing a tank top to show you guys this. Um, normally, when I'm doing my uh, morning routine, I'm doing more in the bathroom and I'm in my bra. And I figured <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that on YouTube. So... I just put a tank top on. I'm in Michigan, guys. It's like 40 some degrees right now. It is sunny, so that's nice. Oh man. I, I think it might be too dark for me. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's it's sunny out, so that's nice here in Michigan, but uh it is definitely not tank top weather yet. So <laughs> is it Halloween, guys? Because I'm dressed up like a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, it feels really nice going on the skin. It kind of feels just like a thick moisturizer. It's very smooth, and it is hydrating or feels hydrating at this moment. I always struggle with not having a mirror, but oh man, got some major clumpage in there. gotta get the ears I wear my hair up a lot I don't know what the heck is going on here my hair just does whatever it wants to when I don't do anything with it. even when I do do something with it it doesn't always do what it's supposed to all right well still pretty orange I'm hoping that this soaks in I don't know if you can tell on camera how orange I am right now my hands are like 
super orange. Uh, so we'll definitely be washing this off of my hands. And obviously I am very shiny right now. Um, but yeah, so I will check back in about 20, 25 minutes. I'm going to go do something around the house really quick. I will come back, let you know how it's settled in and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back. It's been about 20, 25 minutes and it's settled down a little bit. On camera, it doesn't show as much, but I'm still pretty orange in real life. And let's see, I don't know. With the lighting, you can't really tell. But in the mirror, I have a very distinct tan line right here from where I have sunscreen and where I don't have sunscreen. Um, also, I noticed that it's like building up color here in mustache. And my eyebrows. I'm still pretty shiny. It doesn't feel like tacky, so that's really nice. Um, but yeah, so, oh, and it also it didn't really, it didn't sting my eyes. It did, however, for like the first 10 minutes or so after applying it, the, my left eye, this is my left eye, um, watered just a tiny bit, but it didn't sting my eyes or really bother them, so it's not something, you know, that I would be worried about um, in the future. But, yeah, so my pumpkin butt <laughs> is about to uh, go run some errands for a little bit. I got to stop at, you know, Tractor Supply, uh, go get some gas, and then I'm going to go to Mickey D's and get my iced mocha. It's like my drug of choice. Um, but I will check back in with you when I get back, probably only take me a couple hours, let you know my final thoughts and if it looks any different at that time. All right. See you in a bit. Hey guys, we're back. I just pulled in my driveway and the light's a little bit better out here so you can see I'm still pretty orange. Um, and you can tell on my neck from my t-shirt and my hoodie rubbed a bunch of it off it's all over my clothes and my neck is white and then you see these lines here dude the orange pigment is in my neck rolls <laughs> and it looks like i have a dirty neck and i can literally go like this and it like kind of goes away and i notice like when i do that you can't see it on camera that much but when i was looking in the mirror like the pigment literally slides with my finger it's just moving all over my face um so yeah i'm still pretty shiny but i actually don't mind being shiny it's i kind of like the dewy look but um so anyways obviously this is not my favorite sunscreen um and they lied <laughs> they lied when this they said that this you know blended in with all skin tones um even if i was a little bit tanner i still don't feel like this would blend in because it's not my tone it's way more warm i'm more of a cool toned person um but yeah the one thing that i do have to say that i love is my face like feels great it doesn't feel tight it doesn't feel dry um, when I'm smiling and everything, I don't feel it like crinkling up in my wrinkles. Um, I do have to say after like the last hour or so, my eyes have been watering. Um, so my actual like eyeball feels a little dry. Uh, but yeah, um, there's a couple spots. You can't tell as much on here, but especially down here where I'm hairy, it's clinging a lot. It still is making this area, mustache area, stand out. And then I have a dry spot right there, and it's definitely clinging to that dry spot. And so that looks kind of gross. And I wore a mask while I was out shopping, and it ended up getting and transferring all over the mask. Um, and I kind of had some lines, so I kind of like went like this and like blended it in. Um, it is definitely in my creases up here. And around the hairline, it just, it doesn't do good with hair, guys. And my eyebrows in person are so orange and pigmented. Um, but yeah, anyways, I don't think this works for me. 
and I probably wouldn't repurchase it unless they decided to come out with different shades, something that maybe fit my tone a little bit better so maybe it wouldn't stand out as much around my hair and everything. And if it gunked up in my neck, it wouldn't look so dirty. Um, but I like the way it feels on my skin. And I don't like to waste products, so I am going to continue to use this. I'll just only use it on days that I'm not leaving the house so that if people look at me and see all this weird stuff all over my face, I don't care. Um, but yeah, so anyways, um, thanks so much you guys for, for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, help a girl out, um, give me a big thumbs up, and yeah, I really appreciate your guys' support. But I hope you all have a fantabulous day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.